Hi, my name is Chinarat and I'm here to give an example team configuration in Evernote Business. We have uh, a team uh, whose name is Weaver Legacy and we like to call this configuration the Genius Triad. Now why do we call it the Genius Triad? Uh, for any of you who follow uh, Tribal Leadership uh, by David Logan, he made the notion of a genius triad popular and it constituted three members of this triad. A synthetic genius, a practical genius, and a creative genius. Now, synthetic chin is uh, the person who brought Evernote into this company and what he enjoys most and what he excels at, he's a genius that really discovering every which way to pull things together. And so Evernote really lends towards this, as we'll see uh, through this demo. And we have two other members. Aki's the practical genius, and she likes to keep everybody's feet on the ground and keep people in action, and she's all about results, results, results. She loves being part of a team. She loves helping the team be successful, but she's looking for the most practical way to fulfill on their mission and to fill on their fulfill on their goals. She just wants a happy team. And finally, we have the third member of the team, Maui, who's the creative genius, and she's an artist at heart and her ideas come from seemingly nowhere. She looks for ways to be creative and she likes tools like Evernote which allow some creative freedom in regards to how she goes about doing her work and we'll see that her workspace looks very different from the other two people on her team. So what we're looking at is the business home and the business home is a place to see a list of your team members. There's only three people but it could be any number of people and the business home is a place to find notebooks related to your team and what you have here is essentially a directory of notebooks and we'll go get we'll go we'll get into um, some examples in regards to why some of these team members chose these notebooks and what they're for uh, in a little bit. So let's go ahead and go to Synthetic Chin's notebook stack. And so what you have here is uh, a member of the team who really sees the big picture and he really wants to synthesize and bring together different organizations and companies around the world. And so he likes taking a very community-centric view. And so if I go ahead and double click here, uh, the team is just new and they are working with three communities that he's busy trying to stitch together and, and, and weave the legacy of their founders. And what we have here is the Business Model U, Dance Labs, and Evernote as three communities that they're working with. And so these three business notebooks are grouped together in a stack called communities. And the stack is a really important concept to, to, to really group your notebooks together um, and create some extra organization uh, behind it all. And so um, he happens to uh, uh, have some other notebooks on hand and so I'll just quickly go through them. He's got a team stack here, and the team stack um, contains the employee handbook, and if I go ahead and double click here, it even contains personal business models, um, so he has easy reference to the different uh, commitments that the team has and how they see themselves. If I click back here and go into the employee handbook, you can see that uh, they're really uh, on top of things and they've created a, an employee handbook at the size of three people. Uh, and, that, and they've kept uh, interesting notes um, in regards to uh, what they would like each te team member to know about. So. Go ahead and 
and step back up. Now, Chin, there's this distinction. You might be wondering why there, there's a distinction between brown and gray here. The gray represents business notebooks and have the capacity to be shared with anybody. And these brown notebooks are really meant to be personal notebooks. And even if Chen were to leave this triad, he would still be able to take his personal notes with him. So he's got two personal notebooks, uh, one to kind of, um, it's kind of a running diary uh, to collect his thoughts and He's got a notebook uh, related to um, his certification in Evernote Business, which he's working on right now. Now, if we shift over to the business notebooks, uh, you can see that uh, Creative Maui has uh, created a notebook with random inspiration. She just likes throwing random ideas out there. She uh, really takes joy when team members find something really random, get inspired, and really allows them to get unstuck or, or what have you. So this is a repository for that. And more um, pages will get added over time. Um, the team, uh, Aki, as we'll see in a little bit, has um, instituted a, a, a lean launch pad, uh, kind of customer discovery uh, initiative. And so he is able to uh, keep track of uh, the different aspects from uh, you know, look, look, creating customer contact lists to, to you know, various details that are required, you know, in creating hypotheses and, and experiments. And so he's really into the detail of it all. Um, Aki has uh, instituted a GTD workflow, and he wants easy access to and, and, and visibility into teams' milestones and, and all their different projects. And so what we have here is one note per, per project. And a really easy way for the team to keep track of notes, project uh, kind of information related to each note, and even reference other materials maybe outside of Evernote. We have an Evernote reference here. It's a recommended notebook that really has um, different ways of actually um, uh, using Evernote. It's meant to be kind of the how-to manual. And so uh, that ends up being extremely useful, you know, whenever you're looking for kind of a tip or a trick, you know, in terms of how to use Evernote. We recommend that every team have a notebook like this. Um, he has an invention log. Uh, it, it, it's really a notebook to contrast it from his thought log. You know, this is kind of his personal thoughts, but then, you know, he really likes keeping track of his inventions. He feels like that's the output of actually bringing things together. And so um, he has a work notebook here. And finally, he's joined a project uh, called, uh, uh, you know, participating in their web website launch. And so he can actually see uh, different notes that are associated uh, with getting this website together, which is just begun. OK. So that was an overview of synthetic chin. Now let's go ahead and just contrast this to um, practical Aki, who is really driving the show here. So if we go ahead and Sorry about this. Let me go ahead and so let's take a look at Aki's notebook stack. As you can see, her notebook um, collection of notebooks is vastly different from Chin's. And the way she organizes her world, she likes to see in regards to, you know, who are their current clients. She likes to keep track of um, customer development. And this is where um, they have two notebooks, uh, which in a later video we can get into more detail in regards to how we're tracking uh, customer development. And 
she started a GTD workflow, and you can see that she keeps separate notebooks to um, you know, projects that are active, projects that are not being, you know, that, that are not, that, that the team is not working on now, uh, projects that really, you know, you know, the, the, uh, Aki doesn't really feel that they will do, the team agrees that they won't do in the foreseeable future, and, and, a, and a history of projects that are completed. And so, uh, in a later GTD video, we'll get into more detail. She also has a personal notebook and a, a business notebook. She likes, uh, she enjoys the random inspiration from uh, Maui, and she likes to keep a separate uh, project notebook to go ahead and keep different projects um, that are getting created. And so she and, and finally she has a reference uh, notebook that has um, the Evernote reference, uh, stuff that came from HR, uh, you know, some marketing assets they're creating, and uh, the team models. And so she's she, as you can see, with only really eight notebooks and stacks here, um, is interested in just keeping the, the, the system really simple. So let's go to Maui's desktop. And again, um, her notebook structure is even simpler than Aki's. It only has six notebooks. In fact, she doesn't even use any stacks. Uh, her notion of actually having something, uh, something personal is her creative writing journal. Uh, she keeps an idea journal, new ideas for, for the company. And um, she's been organizing random inspiration. She is asked to participate in the customer development process. So this is the notebook where uh, they uh, go ahead and keep track of the customers that they are interviewing and really kind of get a sense of. They may not necessarily be clients yet. And she only tracks one key uh, client, uh, Dance Labs, because uh, Dance Labs is this organization um, committed to dance, and dance is most certainly her source of inspiration. And so she really enjoys keeping on top of this client and it's not a distraction for her because it's very much in the artist realm. And uh, finally, uh, because she's doing a lot of the design of the website, she has access, um, she joins the, the, uh, the website Project Notebook. So, um, as you can see, uh, the notebook structure for all three people uh, in, 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 the, uh, in the triad are completely different. And if I go ahead and return to the business home here, um, you know, these are people who are able to work uh, from around the world. Um, Maui happens to be in Hawaii, Aki's in Tokyo, and, and Chin is in Thailand. And they're able to use Evernote um, in a way to collaborate and, and share, you know, all their notes together. So that concludes uh, this overview of what a, a genius triad looks like in Evernote business, and uh, I'd like to thank you for listening.